Hey everybody, um, I know it's been a long time since I posted anything. Um, I've been working on a new project recently that's kind of taken up a lot of my time. So, um, well, it'll be sick whenever it comes out. Um, and I'll try to release, I don't know, some more synth stuff alongside it. Um, but it is what it is. So today we're going to be talking about using... A DC offset, attenuators, yeah, attenuators and multiples to uh, create a macro knob. Um, and so I'll just give a quick little demo of the patch that I'm cooking up right now, and then we can talk about how it works. So I've just got this little synth line right here. And then if I just turn this knob, um, this is basically going to change a ton of parameters in the sound. So check this out. Awesome. And we're like, yeah, we've made a totally new sound from this. Cool. So how does it work? Well, basically... All that I'm doing right now, um, well, we're using the Switch 4 and Veils, although you can do this with, uh, you know, any DC offset, any multiple, you know, and any attenuator slash attenuverter. So what we're doing is the first channel of the Switch 4 is just sending a positive 5 volts um, from this output right here. And I'm sending this into the first channel of Veils. Cool. So this basically lets me attenuate between 0 and 5 volts, all right? Um, the reason we're doing this is because Veils doesn't produce its own voltage offset. Um, I wish it did. That would be very nice, but it doesn't. So we've got to work around these limitations by getting a uh, DC offset from somewhere else. So then we can take the output of that and run it back into the switch four on the next channel the thing is what this is doing now is creating three multiples well technically five right um because i've got these two channels i'm multiplying this signal too so this signal is being passed down to these two inputs and it's being passed up to these inputs cool so from this one channel right that's this black cable right here this is the uh, attenuated signal we're getting five multiples out of it why is that helpful because we can then take those outputs and run them into uh run them back into veils right or any attenuators cool um and on this last channel what we've done is i've actually taken this hold on that's not it yeah it's this cable right here this brown one. I've taken this out into an inverter. So instead of giving me plus 5 volts, it's going to give me minus 5 volts. Um, and then I send that signal back into this last channel. These two patch cables are being sent to uh, inputs on the Mini Brew 2S that already have attenuators. So I don't have to attenuate the signal further. Um, so now that we've got the basic gist of it, right? Um, we can talk about how it works. So right now, if this macro knob, right, uh, the first channel of this, if it's all the way down at zero, then we're not getting any voltage out of this thing. And so if we turn it all the way up, which right now, yeah, it's got, I uh, have one of these signals sent to the um, uh, VCA bias knob on the mini brute to us. So that's why the sound is coming out. But anyways, now that we've opened up this attenuator, it's sending plus five volts into all these multiples. The output of that is then being attenuated individually, right? Or it's being inverted and that's being attenuated. So like here, right? This might be right. Roughly speaking, like three volts on the output right? This might be like four volts. Cool. Um, just based on those knob positions, right? 
and then this one might be like negative two volts something like that um and so from that right we can just send these dc offsets somewhere else except for this one this is actually we're actually using this as in uh as a vca right here and what's coming in on the uh on the input channel is a little oscillator um, that i made using the ad envelope on the mini boot to us so this is sending yeah so this is acting just as a regular vca um but these are just acting as attenuators cool um so that's the basics of uh how this little macro knob works um and again so it's just like a little linear interpolator right um and what we'll do is yeah we'll just play it once more Yeah, so we can even, you know, find little midway points that sound good, right? Maybe this could be our sound. We don't have to go all the way forward, but we can. Cool. So one of the interesting things that we can then do with this, um, if I get another patch cable, Right, um, actually, hold on a second. So I'm going to patch the gate output into the clock of marbles. And I can then... Oh boy, I just dropped a bunch of patch cables. That's alright. So we can then take an output and send it... Um, actually, we can send it into the channel input right there. So then, uh, what this is going to do is basically we can have a negative signal coming into this, right? So now we'll take the voltage out of this middle channel on marbles. We're sending it in to this. And this channel, well, this voltage will then be sent out to all of the other channels to be attenuated, right? Um, and we can get positive and negative voltages this way. Um, and we can also probably get just some cool sounds, right? So let's, uh, let's check this out whenever I bring up the attenuator here. Yeah, we can see the marbles channel right here. Um, and again, we're looking at the center channel. Yeah, right? So that's pretty, that's pretty weird, isn't it? But as we can see, Right, these are all getting different levels of uh, attenuation. Yeah, that's pretty funky. Maybe not all the way. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty neat, isn't it? But if we attenuate it all the way down, then we just get our bass sound. Cool. So anyways, um, that's all I wanted to talk about today. Thank you for tuning in, everybody, and take it easy.